But, well, as far as uh, the traditional events in Carmel, uh, there was the kite festival with uh, which Mr. Kelly, Ernest Kelly, uh, taught everybody how to make these wonderful kites. And he was, a, he was one of the city characters in a way, in the sense that he always wore a, a tweed suit and he had a full head shock of uh, graying uh, curly hair that was never managed <laughs> in some way. And he always rode a bicycle with clips on his pant legs so they didn't catch in the chain. Uh, so he was a, a very visible person. So there was the kite festival and of course the sandcastle, which was much bigger deal than what we have these years. But uh, it, was, um, it was just fascinating, you know, what they did with the sandcastle contest. Um, I can't think of other things on the, on the beach other than, the, you know, the fact that we rode horses and down on the beach and that was permitted. And I, as, oh, well, we, had, we had a caber, that, uh, you know, a Scottish caber. And I don't know the history of how, how the city got the caber, but it hung here in City Hall and it has all kinds of brass plaques on it. And it was, um, then we had a caber parade, a Scottish parade. We had a very active uh, Scottish community uh, at, the, at the time. And, and one of the biggest movers was the McLeod, uh, Dame Flora McLeod, who was head of the clan in the Isle of Skye up in Dunvegan. And she would come here for the Scottish Society Ball and so forth. And uh, uh, several of the city fathers, Remsen Bird, Dr. Remsen Bird, was uh, um, there was a McLeod in the family, and and so they they were it was very uh, very active, and they would mark they you know, they get these big guys and they're uh, all, all dressed in their kilts and they would carry the caber, which is the one they throw end over it try to throw end over end in the Scottish games, uh, and they would carry it on their shoulder. So when it came time for the centennial, I felt we needed to have uh, you know them in the parade carrying the caber. The Christmas tree, you know, coming down that hill and seeing the tree there, I was very disappointed when it got moved over to Devendorf. I just, that, that wasn't Carmel to me. Uh, th there wasn't, um, I don't know when the ceremony started for uh, the tree lighting. It was, it was certainly very quiet clear back when we were kids, but I don't, uh, you know, maybe my sister has a better recollection than I do. And she, being in kindergarten, they had a big maypole event uh, for the kindergartners uh, down on the lower lot of Sunset where they actually had a maypole because that's where the kindergarten uh, and first grade was. Uh, but you know, she'd have to tell you about that.